you can see here that the Illustrator has put these little dots here actually has created a path and has put an anchor point every 0.5 pixels. So let's change that to another value, let's see 20, and redraw a straight path. So what happens here is that now, in this particular situation, the number of anchor points are much lower, which means that the fidelity with which um, Illustrator is going to follow your um, the movement of your stylus of, of your mouse will be decreased because the less the anchor points and the less fidelity you will have. To make an example of how it works, I will draw with the um, value of 20, I will draw a very complicated line like this one. And see how Illustrator has changed the shape of the line quite a bit compared to what I've actually I had actually drawn. But if I go back here and I change the fidelity value to a very small, Illustrator will, will follow really, really closely my movements. So, see here, almost no change. So I've drawn a very like, complicated line and there's no significant change. There's, there's a little bit of change which is due to, to the smoothness that we will talk about in a second. And in fact, if we reduce the smoothness to zero, and if we draw a very complicated line this time, it remains really, really, kind of really identical to uh, um, the original movement of my hand was. So, um, talking about smoothness, smoothness is kind of easy to understand. It's it's basically um, with fidelity is the accuracy. Illustrator following your movement, but with smoothness is actually uh, how much smooth um, the uh, smoothing Illustrator applies when you use the tool. So in this case, I've I've set smoothness to zero. So if I draw uh, like a square, it will remain like that. But if I change smoothness to uh, 100%. What is going to happen is that the Illustrator is going to smooth up all these angles. So even if the fidelity value is really small, so it's going to follow uh, the movement of my hand, it will still create, will still smooth up these, um, these angles. Now, in fact, if I draw a square here, um, so you really want to, to play with these parameters. Um, in a way that fits the kind of drawing that you're gonna ink. So in this case with Donald Duck, which presents a lot of um, smoothly curved lines, uh, not very complicated shape, value of fidelity around three, four, it's okay. And um, value of smoothness at around 30% uh, also seems reasonable to be met, but there's no uh, specific rule about these two uh, um, tolerances. You need to play around with those two values and find out um, the best values for your, for your drawing. I'm gonna delete all these paths and uh, start inking the drawing. So, so I'm gonna select the brush tool and by pressing CTRL and plus button on PC you can basically you can increase the uh, uh, magnification of your drawing and I will start drawing from the hat so I'm controlling the pressure of the style so I'm making a bigger line here and I'm, I'm gonna go thin again here so as you see here the, uh, the uh, illustrator has changed the shape of this curve a little bit. So it's up to you to decide what you want to do with this. If you're happy with the shape of the curve, you keep it like that. If you're not, you just press CTRL and Z or Z as you would do with Photoshop and just delete it. Um, in this case, I'm not really happy because his Illustrator has gone a bit too far and has changed it quite a bit. So I'm gonna go back to the paintbrush 
garage tool options and I'm, I'm reducing the uh, smoothing, smoothing to 20 and the um, fidelity to 2 and I'll redraw that uh, particular curve there are still a bit of a bit of uh, resizing that I don't that I don't like here the the um, drawing is definitely drawing this um, mark or this line arc is definitely very smooth so it's already I'm really satisfied with the smoothness of it but I'm not satisfied the way he's not following not following my uh, so I'm reducing the smoothness a little bit and I'm trying to redraw it Features of digital inking is really the fact that really the fact that it's really forgiving. So you can you can make a number of mistakes. It doesn't really matter. You can always uh, change it in order to uh, scroll around. You press the spacebar like in Photoshop, and then you grab your drawing. You keep the spacebar pressed and you scroll around the drawing, and then you keep inking by making sure that you're really changing this, the uh, diameter of your brush to give a bit of uh, lively motion to your um, line work. Now I'm not gonna completely ink this drawing but I'm, I just want to show you the, the, the real basics, how easy it is in fact to uh, drawing a piece of artwork like this one and it doesn't take long and when you've finished you can actually export the um, line art you can delete it you can delete the drawing underneath and you can export the line art line art as a JPEG or you can print it from Adobe Illustrator if you want to create a coloring page um, or you can import in Photoshop and color it in Photoshop or you can color it in Adobe Illustrator so um, I will go on inking this um, drawing of Donald Duck that you can find on um, the um, um, how to draw Disney characters on the drawingfactory.com and um, I will uh, say goodbye to you for now and I'll see you in the next installment of um, the video section of the Drawing Factory. Um, happy drawing and I hope this little tutorial has been helpful. I'll see you next time.